It was at the 07 World Juniors that Jonathan Taves dazzled the world with a remarkable shootout performance. News breaks during this year's World Juniors that he will miss training camp with a medical issue. Vague explanation, but it is quite clear what this means. For the Chicago Blackhawks, their bad luck continues. Jonathan Taves issuing this statement. This offseason, I've been experiencing symptoms that have left me feeling drained and lethargic. I am working with doctors so I can better understand my condition until I can get my health back to a place where I feel I can perform at an elite level and help my team. I will not be joining the Blackhawks for training camp. The captain continued, I do not have a timetable for when I will rejoin the team. I am extremely disappointed, but it wouldn't be fair to myself or my teammates to attempt to play in my current condition. Number 19 knows how to play the game one way. I admire him for having the courage to say, I'm not feeling right. So many times in hockey, we celebrate guys for playing through. To me, it's brave what he's doing. For the Chicago Blackhawks, it's another gut punch uh -huh. for Stan Bowman. What about this? Clearly, the other ones, Doc, Nylander, less significant players. But still, for Blackhawks fans, this is starting to feel like a run of bad luck. Yeah, and just to get out and say what you've already said, Tone, that Jonathan says that the biggest thing is getting healthy and getting to that point where he can perform at the level that he knows he can and this team needs him to play at. But as far as the team standpoint, the Chicago Blackhawks, they're now without the top two centers. And any team in this National Hockey League that you take the top two centers off of their roster to start a season, going to be tough sled. Right. So it's about who's to, who's to pick up. I mean, <laughs> what do we do? We look to number 88. Uh, and Superman, we look for him. Showtime. You know, showtime's going to have to be primetime, showtime, everything time. Because, uh, you know, when you look at this team and all those players right there, I mean, uh, you know, there's going to be opportunity. But star power wise, you know, you're losing Kirby Doc, who's been unbelievable uh, for a long stretch. And we don't know what Jonathan Taves. So it's going to be tough. But I will also say this Chicago Blackhawks team, it, they're not built to win this year. They, they just need progression. They need to keep building and growing. So this could be a test that shows their character. And we'll see how they handle it. Just to put into perspective how good Jonathan Taves is, because you'll be around certain people and they'll say, but look at his numbers. Here's the number I remember. 100. They had at the All Star game in LA the NHL 100, where they had the best 100 players in the history of the league. They all got jackets. I've asked Scott Stevens if I could wear his. He says no, politely. Taze is in that group. Three cups. It's tough to be appreciated by your contemporaries and while you're playing, but this guy has had an unbelievable career and the international stuff. I mentioned World Juniors, the Olympics. He's a spectacular player that is so understated that I think he's underappreciated. What do you think of when you think of Taves' game? I'll just even look in the recent month, months when the Chicago Blackhawks and, and from who they traded away at the end of last season before the return to play, um, you know, talking about the rebuild and him coming out and saying, I wasn't really aware of this. <laughs> I want to win. I want to win now. And I think that speaks volumes to Jonathan Tapes. He is a fierce competitor, and he wants to win today, tomorrow, and every day of his life. And he will push. And that's the kind of um, character, and that's the kind of, um, you know, what you want to cultivate inside a locker room. So that, those are the things I think of with him. All the other stuff he does on the ice is, is, is extra. And so now it's, you know, making sure that this guy is still going to find a way to be back in this locker room, wherever that time is when he starts playing again. But this is Jonathan Taves' team, and uh, it's about changing the culture here in Chicago back to where it was a few years back. 88 is wired the same way. I love the way you describe being all about winning. Shift.